What are you looking at? What's wrong with this building? Talk to me. We're being followed. And you could sniff that? Uh oh. Do we actually have a sniper? On? Oh my god. I can't run! The game wouldn't let me! I can just walk! So I guess that's it. So let's take the cane. WOH-01. Authentication complete. WOH-01. Administrator permission verified. Initializing system. All right. Yeah! Incredible. There's a program on here designed to alter Kairos log data. The terminal was sending the altered log data to the server. The program's still running. Wait, so does this, this PC is, is sending the vitals of the professor to the main server? But how does anyone, like, you know, get access to this terminal because it was logged by the professor, wasn't it? Ah, just so as he, I thought. So he was using that program to falsify his Kairos log data. But why? Yeah, because it must have been a professor that did that. Did he do that to sneak out to see his visitor, but it turned deadly for whatever reason? If we determine the program... Wait, if we terminate the program, we should be able to get a hold of the unaltered log data. Okay, so he might actually be dead then. Lily, check out the data on the terminal. Got it! Administrator permission verified. Terminating program. I see. Oh. Okay, the program stopped running. Albert Rumford death record. Cardiopulmonary arrest. Man of death. The professor died at 7.55. Huh. Exactly five minutes before he had his visitor. We should... Or maybe the visitor came early. We should notify the Bureau about this falsification program too. Because somehow this bag of the visitor, I'm pretty sure that's the same person, got into this lab. So either they like met earlier or the visitor came here earlier. Yeah. The data is now in your lock, mister. The investigation lock has been updated. Alright. I see. It feels like we've finished our search for, uh, for now. We found plenty of information to work with, but my head still feels all over the place. <laughs> I help you go over everything we uncovered. If you combine the information you discovered with the evidence you found, I'm sure you will clear your head in no time. Oh yeah, let me- oh yes, we have a mini game like that again. I love that in uh, Sherlock Holmes. Actually, you know what, I might actually replay that game sometime. So, we have Suspicious Intruder, Functioning Kairos two visitors okay let's see uh, discover evidence by combining factual items with relevant log data try and find different combinations okay so functioning kairos uh, kairos falsification program a program to falsify the uh, professor's kairos data was running on the lab terminal according to the professor's kairos data he's still alive yeah i mean that's the right one uh, in order to access the lab terminal, Professor Kane was required. No, that, that's the right combination. Can I... Can I not combine those? What? Seven Ah. Kairos records and transmits all the... Wait. Kairos records and transmits all their host's vital readings. Ordinarily, that would provide an accurate time of death and a precise location. Which means there must have been something wrong with the data sent to the medical center. It's likely that the professor was using the Kairos falsification program to make sure nobody realized what he was up to. Yeah! The professor developed Kairos alongside Justi uh, Justices, you know? Which means he was definitely capable of something like that. Weird. But why would he have been falsifying his Kairos data? The professor had been falsifying his Kairos data to prevent the bureau keeping tabs on him. Maybe he didn't want to be monitored. 
Didn't the professor have something he wanted to keep secret from justices? Right. Can we combine more? We couldn't figure out where the professor's body disappeared to in the end. Don't worry, mister. The Kairos data we found is more than enough. Send a report to the Bureau. I'm not done yet. Can I not, you know, combine more? So we have these combined. Don't we? Can we not, like, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Unexplainable details? Oh. Huh. Well, I guess. Here! We finished our search! Let's head back to the hall. Alright. Let's check out the hall, too. Okay. This place, Astrum Close, the Marine Research City, is built around the clock tower. Oh, you mean the clock tower, which is key, we don't know where it is. Professor that randomly Rumford rings. Found it the city. Wait, what? Elaborate model built to celebrate the 50th anniversary. Alright. Wait, if he founded the city, then, like, was the clock tower still, like, already there? Was it just standing around in the desert? Like, how does that work? Anyway. Uh, pirate bathroom, that's where the girl came from. I want to go in there. This room is currently being mapped for virtual storage. It is strictly off limits. Please wait for the scan to complete. Alright, whatever. Okay, let's see. Is there anything? Oh, what the hell? It's completely busted. Lily. When did this thing get destroyed? Let's check Martha's 80 reconstructed memory data. Look! You can see it was still intact at 10 this morning. It seems like the panel was destroyed while Martha was looking for the missing body. I'm betting that whoever hid the professor's body also smashed the panel. Huh. I wonder if it contained information that would have implicated them. Do you think we could retrieve the data somehow? Hmm, looks like a tricky job, mister. Shall we send out a repair request just in case? I guess. What else? What else? I don't see much, actually. I'm looking around the hall right now. I don't really see anything. This room is currently between. Yeah, I expected that. All right, skip. <laughs> Thank you. Like the parlor is still being scanned. Yeah, you don't say. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there's anything else in here. Except for that speck of light. I don't see anything. What do you want me to do? We looked at this. Yeah, nothing changed. Go outside. There might be something in the hall too. 
I looked everywhere. Tell me where it is. Come on. Then talk to me. You know what? You get a head rub. Well, you're giving me a head rub? You might have some bright ideas, mister. Don't take me. Let, let me like, regret this. Is this enough? Okay. <laughs> you must be so happy that you get to give me head rubs all the time. No. Anyway, talk to me. I need help. There might be something in the hall. Is oh my god. Your eye? Okay. Wait, what is this? <clears throat> I think it's locked. Yeah, it looks like, uh, like a cupboard, but this is probably a keyhole. Storage unit built into the base of the city model. It can be accessed and locked using the corresponding key card. Oh, wait, I have something. Pretty sure I have something. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Hello. What are you? Ah! Did you see? No, I'm holding it into my face. Of course I'm seeing it. It's Fifi. What's Fifi? This brings back some memories. Has it been here all the while? You know about this? Obviously. I mean, so should you. Not since three years ago where I lost my memories. Eh, whatever. Let's dive. No. What are you doing poking around in there? I'm playing hide and seek with Hal. He's it. In my house? He'll find you in no time there. There's no hiding anything from Hal, you know. If there's something he wants to know, he just revisits the past and finds out. But Hal was the only one who had to get his blue jab today. Again? I told them to cut down his dosage. Professor, stand over there so Hal doesn't see me. I mean, the professor does not seem that bad right now. How's this? Don't make a peek. Even though his blue eyes are kind of unnerving in the setting. Hal was trying to be sneaky and smart by getting in here to eat and then checking if the doctor was lying. She said we gotta eat them right away. Whoa, look! It's Noel's favorite! Oh, he is not pulling any punches. He knew. <laughs> Play nice, Hal. Come on. How about we all have lunch together? This was Knowles. Has it been here the whole time? I'll bring it back for him. Huh. And that girl we saw in the beginning. Did you see anything? She was I think Maya was her name in the past. Lily. 
You said that we spent a lot of time with the professor when we were kids, right? Yep. Did you remember something? He was always looking out for Maya and you guys. It's almost like the professor I saw in the memory and the professor from the trial are completely different people. Yeah. Which one is the real Professor Rumford? Or did something change him? Hmm, that's a good question. He used to be so kind. What could have happened? Lily, the professor. Yo, how's the search going? Why, well, I completely forgot about you. Anyway, I kind of went straight there to check things out. I ended up chasing this chick who was trying to flee the scene, and I lost track of time. Really? This is you were talking about, Ash? I figured you were just goofing off again. Oh, Lily. You finish your update? I swear you've gotten even sassier. Uh, where are you and what are you doing? That's what I've been trying to tell you. I spotted this cute chick in town, and let's just say I'm pursuing an investigation. Um, um is this your way of saying... You're trying to pick up girls? You're running around off the leash now, Elaine's under watch? Oh my god, if he's, actu if he's actually serious, I'm gonna be mad. Because, like, dude, somebody's dead. No, no, you've got it all wrong. Okay, I hope so. I hope you're chasing that suspicious girl that was in the bedroom. Like, at a crime scene, potentially. Listen, this is important work. I'm telling you. <sighs> what was that look for just now? If I'm gonna get the cold shoulder, I'd rather try my luck with the ladies. Did you end up catching that person you mentioned? Nah, they gave me the slip. They seem to know their way around the city, that's for sure. Anyway, how's everything going over there? We've finished searching the crime scene, but there's so much to think about. Why don't we go over everything in person? Besides, there's something I need to ask you. Come quick, okay? I'll be waiting in front of the clock tower. the hell? Maya would get mad and poor little Noel would start crying. Such a mess. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. It's just... Hearing that someone is exactly how they used to be is kind of reassuring somehow. I'll try and gather as much information about the professor as I can. What's wrong, Cal? Nothing. We better get going. Ash is waiting for us. Man, how long can it take to scan two rooms? Like, my god. I guess we have to go. I wonder how long this demo is gonna continue. I wish there was a way to walk faster.
I mean, for you guys, I can cut it out, but you know. I can't see Ash. He told us to come straight here, though. Uh, admission bureau relief assignment. You have been ordered to survey the extent of collective mental contamination and provide counseling to treatment candidates. Report to the bureau when you complete the following task. Locate and offer counseling to treatment candidates. What? Dude, I'm on a murder investigation. We got a new mission from the bureau. hear some rumors about the professor from some of the residents. Yeah, but rumors are not proof. Rumors are rumors. Whatever. Yeah! That's Martha. Oh, that's actually interesting. You're... Martha Simmons, Professor Rumford's friend. If I give her counseling, she might tell us something we can use in the case. Sorry. Treatment candidate detected. Starting mental counseling. Okay, how does that work? Oh my god. Calibration. Ooh, okay. Oh, assist residents affected by mental contamination by pressing the buttons at the right moment. Following eight buttons can be pressed. Okay, okay, this is a rhythm game, is it? Time your button presses. For long notes, hold the button. Alright, wait. Both type notes will turn blue when you are successful. Um, press the notes when they are the, entering the green zone. Alright, let's try it. Right, B, where's B? easy. Probably gets a lot harder later on. I think they'll be okay now. Archive access permission granted. Whatever that means. By aiding the residents, you will gain access to bureau archive data. You can review information in the archive via main menu. Important document. Alfred Rumford, ever since the impact of the Colossal Metroid. Okay, I'm I'm gonna just leave this up here and you guys can read it in your own time because this episode is probably already really long. So, here you go. We're gonna continue for now. Excuse me? Martha, can you remember anything about the incident? Always. I used to check on Albert every morning. Then. Ever since what happened three years ago, he tended to shut himself off. I was worried. It was so frightening. That morning, I dropped by the lab as usual, and there he was, dead. Ugh. His body was still warm, but he was completely still. It was so frightening. I couldn't bear the sight of it. Hmm? It must have been a terrible shock. Uh, what was when the AD contamination happened? That. Was that? I thought I heard a shriek, and that brought me back to my senses. It sounded like it came from the bedroom. Then? I was terrified, but I figured I needed to go and check it out. Ugh. But nobody was in the back room, uh, bedroom. Then? And then I got back to the lab. Albert's body was missing. That was, wasn't a dream, was it? I see. No. That corroborates with the reconstructed visual data. What corroborates with the data? Like that she saw a body? Sometimes. It wasn't the first time I've heard something coming from the bedroom. So, this is... Do you mean you heard things since before the incident? Wait, you heard screams out of somebody's bedroom and you, like, thought that's completely normal? Always. Yes, even though the room was supposed to be empty. 
I wonder what it was. An unexplained voice. Yeah, that's not good. You're a hull, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. What a relief. That's a relief. I was so worried. <sighs> Although I possibly shouldn't be saying that. Weird. But what? There was something strange about all of that. She seems so much calmer now, and she's talking again. But I can't shake the feeling. Can like there's a the sound effect that's just crying in my ear sometimes, and it's really weird. But it, this one. Wait, is it water sound? I don't know. It just weirded me out. But I can't shake the feeling there was something else bothering her. I'll try and talk to her again the next time I see her. And she just woke up. She was just like rude Let's like see what that. Doing. Just like, like I guess she didn't kick me out, but she was just like, I'm gonna bounce. Hello, kid. Huh. What? Lily. I wanted to talk to the kid. What happened? Uh, the hell? Hal, get back here! What? What's wrong? Just get back here now! Oh, okay. What the hell? What? What are you looking at? What's wrong with this building? Talk to me. And you could sniff that? Uh oh. Dude, are we actually. Do we actually have a sniper? On? Oh my god. I can't run! The game wouldn't let me! I can just walk! Ouch. I died. Passed out. Dead. Help! Please get up! You should have fled! I tried! Game doesn't Idiot. have a run function. I'm sure of it. Oh, that's the girl. That suspicious girl. Why? Why did you try to kill me? Try to kill me? I think she did, like, succeed. You ought to be the one answering my questions. Why did the professor... <sighs> I'm maybe, sorry. Maybe ask the questions before you kill somebody? Yeah, that does not make sense. What the hell? Am I going back in time? Wait, how far back did I go back in time? Or into the future? Are the... yeah, alright. Yeah, I, I am looking. I'm just... Thoroughly confused. I just noticed the shape of the things flowing down, like those are the clock pointers, right? Wait, who's that? Standing there. I 
I'm very confused. I mean, the concept is nice. I'm not sure if everything makes sense yet. <gasps> okay, we're still in the demo. Kind of half expected it to end right there. Where am I? This place. It seems nostalgic somehow. Looks like an... How was it, how is it called? An English observatory or something? Thank you for playing. Okay, it is the ending. I am confused. I did not understand why I got shot, but alright. Uh, I guess we can return to the title. Alright, and here are we actually for the first time on the title screen of a Dyschronia? Dyschronia? I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Chronos Alternate, episode 1. Yeah, I, I liked it. I, I did like it. I had hoped the quality would be a bit better, not gonna lie. Oh, I see there's like special items on these um, podiums. No, they're not podiums, aren't they? But anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, but I think it definitely it definitely has creative vision. Um, it felt a little clunky at points, but I really would like to see this in VR. I, I will try. I will try if I can, like... Uh, I, I know a few people that have VR stuff. I just don't know if I can make it work on my system. So uh, I might actually check that out in VR if I can, because I think that might be actually really interesting in VR. And maybe also work a little bit better. Not that it works bad, I'm just saying. It's not as like uh, smooth of an experience as other games are at a few points. Um, not all the time though. Anyway, I, I did like it. I'm not sure if the logic, if the story is like that well thought out. Like it's definitely, it has ideas and it follows like at least like uh, a method. But I think there might this might be a game where there might be a few plot holes. Then again, still like everything I saw, like nothing deterred me. I really, I, I kind of like it. I I hope that they would polish it a little bit more. And yeah, then I might actually check it out again. I actually would like to check it out again then. So it might actually be that you will see this again on this channel. And if not, you can see me in other games in other videos. Wishlist this game if you like the demo, check out if the demo is still there, or just get the game if you liked what you saw here. I'm gonna see you in another video of another game. Until then, bye!